Yeah, de definitely put a a spoiler alert in the tag on the like oh, yeah, on the yeah. title. Yeah, we want spoilers. <laughs> I don't want nobody because I'm in it and I. I want folk coming at me talking about you. You spoiling. can't come for Zeno. You spoiling it. You can't come for Zeno. Just stay in the bathroom and watch Deadpool with this kind of voice and say a lot of inappropriate. <laughs> It'll work. It'll be okay. Because you can do that because you're Deadpool. That's <laughs> definitely the Ryan Middle voice. Definitely the. What's up, y'all? It's Joseph R. Wheeler III, the artist, the founder, and the president of the Honest Khan Foundation, welcoming you to a special episode of what could be Honest Khan's Outdoors Worldwide, plus the business when we talk about the arts entertainment business, because we're going to be talking about the film Deadpool Wolverine, which I went and saw today, here with the, as promised, for those who pay attention on the channel, when I said I was going to have a special guest, it's the one and only legendary DJ Emeritus of Honest Khan. One of the founding members of Soul Food Cypher. What else you want to add to that, brother? No, that's good enough. <laughs> he, got, he got a lot more. Yeah. But that is Zeno! <laughs> what up? Bathroom! What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? You, you going to give him the real name or we going to leave it at the... the uh, yeah, we, we, yeah. We're going to just leave it at the stage name. There it is, y'all. Yeah, there we're not going to go full James we, we, <laughs> Stay full what again? James Howlett. We're just going to stick What's to... What's James Howlett? What's that? James Howlett is uh, <laughs> the Logan's name from birth. Oh, snap. You done went in on me. See, this, yeah. this is the reason why I wanted to do <laughs> this, this with this brother because... He's that level of blurred. See, I'm, I ain't, yo, I'm Super Saiyan on some days. He's Super Saiyan all the damn time. I Just, try. I don't know about all that. There's, wow. There's plenty of stuff that I don't know. All I know is Logan. That's all I know. Yo, man. Yeah. That's what's up. So, before we get all the way in on it, I'm just going to ask for your general impression of the movie what you thought dope not dope kind of all off well, field, whatever unfortunately <laughs> i heard some really like bad 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 reviews okay look at all these rumors surrounding me every day okay and okay. i don't know about y'all but, but for me personally when it happens mm -hmm. if i go see it's just like a super good review if i go see the movie and it's not horrible, bad, like the bad reviews. I'm gonna think it's amazing. And that's, you know, it's just. Okay. So, okay. like, I heard. So, you're so, saying you thought it was amazing? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I dug it. Cause I, what I heard, man, was like, it's not even really a movie. It's a, <laughs> it's just a string of, like, stuff thrown together. Look at all these rumors surrounding me every day. Uh huh. And, I mean, I was still cool <laughs> with that, cause that sounds like some experimental stuff that I'll be into anyway. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, we'll see. I just need some time, some time to get away from So yeah, unfortunately my, I'll, I'll never know my true view of the movie because I had such weird, super low expectations that what they, what they delivered is sure, just way sure. beyond, you know. Right, right. right. So yeah, we, <clears throat> we may not, I'll never know the real story. Okay. Uh, which unfortunately with a lot of genre and action and superhero things, that's, that's just how it ends up. You see a, a really a glowing review before you see it and you go in all excited and it's one tenth of what they were As saying. And Deadpool would say, <laughs> they put a taste in your mouth with their thing. And it's, see, that's what, I'm gonna just start right there with what got on my damn nerves. Like, as a completely heterosexual man, I get sick and damn tired of certain levels of innuendo when we're trying to appreciate everybody's perspective like look yo yeah i think i mean and I, I don't even think it's that stuff is not there for the benefit of like diversity that's just trying to make people uncomfortable well it's you doing know? a damn good job <laughs> it's like that stuff is you know yo and before the movie started yo the trailer for the new alien what is it alien <laughs> what uh Romulus or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. I was, first of all, I didn't even know it was coming out. Yeah. But now it makes sense when I see some stuff hyping it, you know. Mm -hmm. But, man, I'm Yeah, I, I knew it was coming, but I didn't know it would be this later on this month. Think, yo, if you ain't seen it yet, y'all, all I'm going to say is... I don't, I don't think that... I think that's like a theater-only trailer. <laughs> yo. 
Because uh, uh, Deadpool is R rated. So that's yeah, right. They so they was like, like, here's the red trailer like, right, with yeah. all the extra face hugging. Like, they should have called a <laughs> damn movie face hugging. Yeah. And, and focused on what goes into yeah, your mouth. Because, yeah. good God almighty. I was like, yeah, what the hell? Seriously? Up. What the uh, No, no, yeah, no, no, no. They got hugged all the way. Way too <laughs> damn much. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But that's just oh me. Oh, I got hugged all in the face. See, I ain't, I ain't <laughs> hugging me like that. No. <laughs> oh, I man. I ain't that kind of alien. I thing. mean, but the thing yeah. is, yeah. the thing about it, though, it's mm -hmm. like that imagery and that side of it has always been there. Because it's like. Always been there, but you can tell when it's it's an on purpose. Yeah, yeah. To yeah. insensuate yeah, yeah. and accentuate <laughs> and, and extra, just extra, extra, extra. Secured it to yeah. your eyes, yeah. Just like in Deadpool, and like you say, it's because it was Deadpool. It's like, oh, we're gonna show our nastiest trailer, and it's like, <laughs> and, and Deadpool just like, man, when I tell you gratuitous ain't even a word. Like you could call the damn movie gratuitous goofiness. Like the best monologue in the movie for me was Logan going off on him. And yes, there will be spoilers in here, so get over it. Uh, <laughs> hell with that. So you know when he went off on him. Like you are so immature, so this, so that. I was like, yes, yes, hit him again. <laughs> Give me one more. Give me. That was better than me than the fights, because it's like the fights get so routine. You see so much of the same action. It's only on occasion somebody does something. Shout out to all the stunt people, all the stunt yeah. doubles, because I know a lot of y'all, or I know enough of y'all in the biz. I know what y'all go through and uh, act, I would say Oscars for stunts. Yes, for yeah. real. Yeah, and for the sure. thing, the cool thing about Deadpool is he's got on full bodysuit included a mask so <laughs> in any scene that might be three or four different oh yeah guys and i and i'm you know from being in the biz i could tell like i must tell you the 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 one scene with all the mini deadpools man when i tell you there's some happy extras because <laughs> those, those were not all yeah. stunt people yeah a lot yep. of those were definitely some some featured uh bg actors so that's what's up i really appreciate that yeah and that that's what i call the dragon con scene <laughs> You're right. Literally. For a lot of years, that's Literally. exactly what Dragon Con looked that's like. That's what that was. Like so many different kinds of Deadpools. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like, not them by themselves either. They would run mm -hmm. into each other and be like, oh, yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's uh, <laughs> Captain Deadpool, right. you know, meet Blade Pool and right. <laughs> Captain right. Crunch Pool. For and, real. I definitely, the main reason I wanted to see this was Blade. Yeah. When I found out that Wesley had a moment in here, because Wesley came out about it, talking about, yeah. you know, his opportunity and how it was because, yeah. old boy, you know, he called him up. He was like, yeah. yo, I got yeah. something. You know, Ryan Reynolds was like, yo, I got something for you if you want. Paul, it started with a text mm. from Ryan Reynolds. Oh, wow. And I saw a text and it says, you know, I want to talk to you. And I was like, I hate this guy. No, this is a joke. We've been playing. We've been playing this for like two decades. We've actually liked each other the whole time. But anyway, he called and told me. He said, "You know, I have this idea," and he told me what the idea was. And I was like, "I don't know how the hell you gonna pull that off. I, it was very unlikely." And uh, I said, "Well, if you can make it happen, sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll come and do it." And he was like, "Really?" I was like, "Yeah, why not? Let's see what happens." I did not think it was possible. Mm. And. And he made jokes about it and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. But when I tell you, as a true fan of, of Marvel and of Blade, especially, and what Blade is to the history of Marvel and how it came to be what it is, I'm gonna say this, and I've been waiting to say this, because I've been thinking this. And I wanna say before I say this, if I'm right, Marvel people, you can take your little red scope and, take, and turn it somewhere else. Don't be trying to take me out, because just, I just got good, good intuitive energy and I know how the biz works. You just come and have a seat. I will explain. Because I'm a writer, I'm a producer, I'm an actor, I'm in this thing, so I know how it goes, right? And seeing Wesley in the joint, that was everything, you know what I mean? For me, because first it shows that he still got it, which none of us ever doubt. We know Wesley still got it. And if everybody else, if every major other actor can be out here and do their thing. You know, white actors get out here at 80 and damn near 90, <laughs> still jumping off buildings, yeah. still kicking ass. And Wesley King, nah, let, I, I mean, I really think that was validation and a chance for them to know that audiences want to see Wesley. And now that Blade is in, in you know, jeopardy, they got to rewrite it. They got to do all this other stuff. We know Mahershala has left it. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, you didn't know this? 
No. Yeah. Oh, I, I knew that. I heard that they lost the third or se Dude. second or third director. They, yes, they lost the directors. They they had to do rewrites. Bro. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to correct myself. It has been speculated through rumors that Mahershala Ali did leave the project, but it is not an absolute fact. I want to go on record as saying I was basing this on a lot of hearsay that would, did make major news, but is not completely validated. So let me make that very clear. No confusion over here. So it is, it is to me, it is divine intervention that when Wes got the line in the movie, there can only be one place. See, I didn't like that. I loved it. I hate it. Because I'm not mad at the, the idea of another person getting a role, but uh -huh. the fact he's still alive and he's capable, I'm saying, let's yeah, go. Man. I think it's going to be. I said it, y'all. Wesley going to be Blade again. Watch I mean, and see. I was excited Watch and see. I, I'm, I'm ready for a new Blade, personally. Now, tell me this. Would you be saying that had they never even said they were going to recast it, if they just said, we're going to bring it back? Yeah, I've, I've always said that. I've always said that. So before they announced they were... I, I've always said that. You always wanted to see somebody... Why? Because, I mean, especially now, he... It, unless it... Is it because of age? Be honest. Um, yeah, because that's a different story. But hold on. He's a freaking day-walking vampire with special abilities, right? Yeah, which means that okay. he's supposed to look... 30 all the time. Which, which, no. He can, <laughs> yeah, he's he can, a he's literally he don't a vampire, have to, so no, but vampire, but, but we, but, <laughs> but vampire, you thought you, thought you had no, hold on, hold on, I got him, I got him, y'all, hold on. Vampires can age, vampires can age, but they, and we know when they age, they just age differently. You know what I'm saying? Speaking from experience, because I'm a vampire. Baba Tunde Mosi. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, we age differently, you feel me? Like, hey, it's a different type of aging. You be looking 10 years younger always. So that's what he does. And with the makeup and everything in this movie, I admit I hated the the, the boxy afro. I thought that was wack as hell. They should have gave him the old school cut with a new set of uh, tattoos or something. Or, or what? Go ahead, say it. It's yeah, his, his look was kind of off. Yeah, the, the look was kind of off, but I just was and so happy. he's older now. It's just, it's just a different. It's a different. Vibe. But but look, it's like when you go see. Did you did you go see the last um, uh, Denzel joint, the Equalizer three? Did no. you see? Did you not want to see it? Uh, I, I haven't seen it. it. Okay, <laughs> now I'm at me. It wasn't my favorite of the Equalizer films. I'm, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, one and two are still my favorite, but three was still a good movie. And I'm saying for eight for Denzel to be aging and still doing that. Oh, yeah. I'm saying yeah. And I mean from an industry standpoint. We deal with this. As soon as you reach a certain age, people be trying to dismiss well, the thing you. Is, my, my thing is not because I don't think he's capable mm -hmm. of being a new blade or whatever. My thing is I just want a new blade. You just want a new blade. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just, I ain't mad. Hey, look, I wanted to see Mahershala do it. Yeah. But when yeah. things have went how they've gone, I feel like it's not going to be because it's meant to be Wesley again. Yeah. As and long then, as he's alive. And then I, I don't think um, Wesley doesn't always mix his like acting and his action well like he can act away from action stuff but then when he get into action stuff he turns that off he turn you know you know what i'm talking about like, i ain't saying this, this is him. i ain't saying this you me. know what i'm talking about he's mr like, snipes i'm not saying this. he's an amazing actor i would love to be on blade uh, the new, when it comes back <laughs> see i'll have i'm an actor in hollywood i, I would love to be on the new blade film okay thank you all right He probably will be. He's like, <laughs> he's a real Stanley uh, cameo every time. This dude right here. If you're watching, okay. we got to. <laughs> yes, sir. It was somewhere in Wakanda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes two different people in the same. In the same room. <laughs> yeah, they got the top variants going. <laughs> I'll be happy. They gonna get you. They gonna have the little footage up, and they gonna be like, sir. <laughs> Hopping portals, baby. <laughs> Hopping portals. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, I don't know why he does that, or maybe it's not him, maybe it's just those movies. Like, he, maybe he's never been cast in one of those okay. dramatic action ones. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Um, yeah, because, I mean, if you think about it, most of the ones he does, even the ones he produced himself overseas and everything, they tend to be the stuff that's more like right, all about right. the action. Right. And only, now, a, you know, a big exception is uh, Demolition Man. 
Nah, he was acting his ass off in Demolition. Now that's crazy you say that because that's one of the least favorite movies of his for me. But but he was. I do need, I do need to go back and see it. I, he, I need to go I back. Mean, he, that character, he like. You think he, he embodied? Yeah, he yeah. imbued that character. He did. Like, he did. I know that much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the other ones is just more so. He's the action. Guy. He's the action guy. And then like his versatility, like in that last, he was like the main thing I liked about that. Coming to America thing. Oh, the, the new fact, one. Yeah. yeah, the fact that he was doing comedy. You know? <laughs> right. Um, well, that's how I maybe, feel about Blade. You know, well, like, here's here's the thing about a seasoned actor, which he is, and he is a great actor. Uh, I think that this, I really feel like him returning as Blade one more again is the great hoorah that needs to happen for him to be able to show everybody. Not only does he still have the action but well, he's got the is, acting now, too now he's officially out there in the multiverse so right when there is a new blade yeah he, they can bring him in yeah. even if he's on the side of another one i mean yeah yeah which yeah. but he should never play second fiddle in his own concept because if it were not for him and amon Ra films it would have never started so they they got to respect that you know what i'm saying because yeah. as far as i'm concerned like i say it was Go see Blade and tolerate Deadpool's mouth. And I love Wolverine. That's what it was for yeah, me. That's the, so, see, that's what, I'm just being honest. See, Ryan Reynolds will have a field day with that one. You I don't that. get it. Oh, see, Lord. Have, yeah, you're right. Can't even say it like that. Can't even say it like that right now, dude, man. <laughs> so, say Wade, old Wade Wilson. <laughs> can't say it. Oh, my God. You can't say nothing around that dude. He's going right. to turn everything into something. So, like, no. What, <laughs> what did you, what did, I mean, what other parts of it did you enjoy most? Uh, you know, the action scenes were great. Um, mm -hmm. I like that they used, because last time I think Time Variance Authority showed up in one of the movies, they didn't use any of the, <laughs> it was like, the, Owen Wilson wasn't there, the, uh, that's not, what is the, the main actress's name that she's ahead of it? Um. Sister, she was also in Lovecraft Country. Oh, wow. Mm. Uh, I mean, we slipping. We got it. Yeah, edit, yeah, we slipping. We said edit, edit, edit. Yeah. edit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll get flash a face it. and flash it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. I got you. All so right. she was there. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> I, I like the fact that I like the I like the crossover aspect of it because that's the whole point of these movies is that they're in a shared universe. Mm. Uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, it does open up a hell of a lot, and you can pretty much have countless roles, countless yeah. storytelling mm -hmm. opportunities and everything. Sorry for the camera, y'all. This is why you got to send us donations <laughs> so I can get me a real gimbal yeah. and not just a selfie stick that I'm holding out and wearing right. my arms out. My forearms right. are burning. Came up. So, yeah, it's just like, it was enjoyable. Uh, I've heard a lot of chatter online, um, just like dissing it for whatever reason, and then... It coincided with the weird Robert Downey Jr. announcement. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Dr. Doom thing. Yeah, yeah so it's just that. like a pile on of uh, people just piling on with a lot of opinions and stuff. One particular article I saw, it's just like the same anti-superhero movie article I've been reading since like I was in eighth grade, you know, <laughs> and I'm, you right. know, I'm 50 years old, so that's a long time. Oh, ago. man, congratulations. Still looking 45. This was... <laughs> yeah. What? <so. laughs> He don't, he don't die his hair either, y'all. <laughs> this is real. He talking about who a vampire. But anyway, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe I'm not the best person to ask because I have never was part of that whole, oh, I, I don't know what phase it was supposed to be, but mm -hmm. when she Hulk and all that was going on, I guess okay. Marvel's not good anymore. I was... Right. People's dissing this character. Yeah, I, yeah. That was, and, and I'm not defending she Hulk just because I was on the show, but it was actually a good show. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it. I mean, it was, yeah. it was a fun show. Yeah. It had its moments where it was a little too quirky for me, but for the most part, I, I tell you this, yeah. I watched every episode even after I saw myself and I wasn't in every episode, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, talk about breaking the fourth wall. Uh -huh. I was, it was weird that she Hulk wasn't there in the Deadpool. That would have fit. Yeah. They, they could have brought everybody in, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, man, I, I, I just enjoyed it, but I'm, I love these. Yeah. I love these movies, so. Yeah, yeah, we biased because of what yeah. we grew up on. Right. And that's the other thing. It was plenty of, like, as they say, Easter eggs and, and stuff that we saw, like, from comic book covers yeah, literally right. yeah. materialized right. on right. screen that right. were just classic. Mm -hmm. But we got to get a moment of this. Hold on. Yeah. Definitely. Mom <laughs> <laughs> there was a... Uh, 
Wolverine and Deadpool joint. I think somebody already went over it. Ain't nobody touching that. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, takeoff joint. Right. Yeah, see, I think that's where it was. It was right here where this uh, Soriyama piece is now. But there used to be a Deadpool Wolverine joint right there. It was crazy. Did that Who is it? Uh, Chris Beal. Chris Beal? Yeah. Okay. Local artist. That's mm -hmm. what's up. Yeah. Shout out, shout out. Yeah. In closing what, on it. But what? Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. Opinion. Oh, well, yo, yeah, yeah. You're being diplomatic. I'm, oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm diplomatic, but I'm also real. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. I don't, I don't like being stuck in the fact that just because I'm in the biz, I can't be honest about my opinion about movies. Because trust me, there is a thing. This last word. <laughs> <laughs> it, can, it can be a thing, but here's my reality. I always say this, man. I say, look. Anybody whose draws is that weak, I don't want to work with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you if you so whatever that you can't take criticism on your project as a as a fellow artist uh, from another artist who's not completely dogging it out, like I, it was enough in there for me to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I made it through it still with mostly a smile on my face, even when I was laughing uncomfortably <laughs> at yeah. some of them jokes. And the, like, thing, and the thing is, you can't be mm -hmm. mad at it. I mean, you can, but you can't be mad at it because that's the humor that they were going for. Yeah, I, now, I know was, what it's going to be. Yeah, when I if, got they, up in if you were laughing like that and then they were trying to get a regular laugh, <laughs> a normal laugh, and got the other laugh instead, then then you got a problem. Right, right. I mean, it don't make it no easier with some of the levels of where he'll go, but right, right. I just found myself like, like you know, you would laugh sometimes, it would make me laugh because I'm just trying to hold it. Yeah. Like, damn, okay, all right, yeah, that, all right, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny, but it's annoying. It's annoying, and, but it's funny. Man, and it's like yeah. so much of it, like mile a minute, mile a yeah, minute. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think there's a lot of possibilities, but like these, mm -hmm. it's so it costs so much money to have all those actors together oh, yeah, and all yeah. those special effects. That and, like, he, and now I'm gonna say this: I, I just want to make a quick interjection. That was some of the funniest stuff for me through the whole film. Is he kept making jokes about being on set and stuff that only <laughs> yeah. only people in the business yeah. are people who study it and know yeah. the words. You yeah. know, when he said, which was also what one of the said? most uncomfortable scenes in the movie. And I'm a, and again spoilers here, y'all. There was a brother who was with the time police folk. And he's the first person speaking in the first scene. And you know Deadpool gonna take them all out. Yeah. Cause they coming for him. But when he threw that bone and stabbed my bro, I said, man, you heard me say it, and I said, man, why it gotta be us first always, yeah. man? Mm -hmm. I'm so sick of that garbage, right? Don't it don't get dismissed. Yeah. Hollywood. Right. I don't give a damn. I'm in the biz. I'm gonna call y'all on, on your BS. I'm sick of it. Right. It's like, and if you act like, oh, what do you mean? It's not that. You, you and your woke agenda. So first of all, don't be playing with the word woke. That's ours. <laughs> right, right. It ain't got shit to do with no political agendas and none of that mess. This is something we've been saying for generations yeah. before y'all oh. even knew how we say it. I stay woke. So don't come over here with that garbage. That's number one. Number two, man, please, I'm sick and tired of seeing the first one drop. It's always the brown brother. Right. I said, what the you know, literally, literally. Yep. Then he even made the joke, which made it worse because the joke was funny as hell. He said, he, he said, he said, death by oh. day player. <laughs> I said, God damn it. Because that shit was funny as hell to yeah. me as an actor. Because I'm like, yeah, this is just great. He's basically teasing him like, you know, yo, you, you're not the star. You're a day player. <laughs> you're getting a major yeah. moment. Yeah. Because you're getting to speak first in the film other than me. Like, literally, the lead yeah. person and the next person is you, the day player. But I'm going to kill this dude. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So that was funny, but the scene was not. You know, I'm yeah. just going to say. Yeah. And then he came back, didn't he? Or was that a different guy? Because they Something, looked too much alike. Well, they, because they jumped, because they started in the middle of the story. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, they did look, I noticed I feel that like, too. you know what I'm yeah. saying? And I didn't want to be on some, you know, mess that folk be saying, like, they all look the same, you know, all that kind of garbage. But I do think it was the same actor, or at least close enough. And I thought at one point, I said, oh, okay, are they going to be smart and make a joke like, hey, man, you can't kill me again. That's black yeah. harassment. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> And I would have been laughing my ass like that. So y'all missed the racial yeah. joke you could have made yeah, in that might, moment. Might have been a continuity error. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, or it might just, yeah. It may have chose two guys that look too much alike. A little too much. A little which, too much. Uh, and, they, and they usually look out for that on films. Like, I've literally been on stuff mm -hmm. where me and another brother that's bald head with a beard or whatever they are, same complexion, right. they will not let us be in the same room because they know. People are going to say, ain't that the same dude? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because people are lazy, man. Yeah, like, people are lazy as hell. Their brains are like lazy. Come on, it. say that again. Oh my God. People's There's, brains are lazy. Yeah, sometimes, it, especially if you're watching like quote unquote, turn your brain off entertainment. Mm, you know, mm. Which I don't, I don't, 
I don't. There's never a time to turn like, your brain off. No, I mean, cause like that, that stuff, I still be like re reading into it and like, come on, enjoying it on another level. Come on. Even though it's not meant, so allegedly not meant to be enjoyed that way. I sure. feel like that's just how I look at it. I actually, absolutely, man. Absolutely. You know, but yeah, so there was a lot of moments like that, man, where I'm, I'm trying to enjoy the action. I'm trying to enjoy the oh man this is literally that comic book cover come to life or whatever but then he would yeah. say some inappropriate joke or take it too far and i'm like stuck on how disgusting whatever he just said right. was mm -hmm. i mean it literally was that bad like yo that was really wait a minute hold up like like one joke that was like level of we was talking about the boy scout thing and it was like oh, pedophilic yeah. i was yeah, like no nah, yeah. that's not a joke man <clears throat> yeah. that's not a joke like for real when does it yeah. end do y'all have any cool none just none yeah, and I guess Disney can get away with it because it's Deadpool, and that's what that's the excuse. Does. They're like, yo, if enough, if enough dis disturbed fans who don't know how to go get a therapist or find friends who be therapy won't deal with their issues, then okay, y'all ask for it. We are gonna give it to you. We gonna give it to you full throttle. <laughs> Again, full, like he would say, <laughs> all up in you. Yeah, okay, y'all keep asking for it. You don't know how bad it can be. For me, uh huh. Because. Uh -huh. uh, Cause some people don't like all the crossovers. Some people don't like multiverse stuff. I'm like, why are you watching this? <laughs> like, this yeah, is, yeah, yeah. That, that's the whole well, point of this. Is to the defense of that, I will say this, and I'm not even, it doesn't really bother me, mm -hmm. but I will say, come on, at this point in history, man, between Marvel and DC, mm -hmm. and you can even look at most major video games, the last Mortal Kombat with the time situation, mm -hmm. and even the new one, MK1 with the time situation. Like, everything is going into portals and other dimensions. It's, it's becoming its own trope. It's not even a creative thing anymore. It's become the only thing we're doing right now. Yeah. In mainstream I mean, entertainment with sci-fi fantasy. But you gotta think about like, this stuff is always a reflection of the time. Uh huh. Uh huh. And in this time right now, a lot of people are wanting to go to a you know another reality. Like okay. this can't okay. be the best okay. reality. Okay, I hear that. As a you traveler, know. you know I feel that. You know I feel that. <laughs> you know, like oh, right. this, the Supreme Court just made Donald Trump or whoever is president a king. Basically, Ooh. this can't. Man, what if there was another world where they did do that? Oh, you know what I'm saying? God. So, and that stuff like seeps into our fiction. Mm. Uh, mm. That, that's my metaphors, metaphors. Yes, take sir. on it. You know, I hear you. I hear you. I like. I like what you're saying. I know. I understand. Well, let's hope that uh, we can get some other alternate realities that <laughs> <laughs> that push for new hope. Yeah. And uh, you know, wonderful, intelligent ladies running things. I'm all for it. That's oh, all I'm gonna yeah. say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> take that, suckers. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Straight up. Oh. Uh, and, and like I say, for me, it was just all about seeing West. And it wasn't, a, it, if you're wondering how much of it you're going to get, trust me, if you're a Blade fan, you're going to be happy. Because yeah. you actually get to see him fight. He's, mm -hmm. he's in there doing his thing. Right. And that's what made it worth it for me. 